In this video, we are going to learn about reflections. A reflection is a type of transformation. And a transformation in general is an operation that you perform on a line segment or a point or a shape in order to change it somehow. So with a reflection, the idea is you are flipping the shape across a line. So for example, Let's say we wanted to reflect this triangle across the x-axis. That would mean our new triangle will be sort of the mirror image of this original triangle. Because this point right here is three units away from the x-axis, its image will also be three units away from the x-axis but on the other side. So it would be down here. Similarly, this point is three units away, so we want to go three units away on the other side to get the new point. Then we can do our last point, which is one, two, three, four, five, six units away, and count six again to get that third point. So this is a reflection across the x-axis. Notice that with reflections, the two shapes will stay congruent, so they're the same size, but the only difference is sort of the orientation. It has now flipped because it was reflected across a line. So the image is congruent to the original. You can also reflect shapes across lines that are not horizontal or vertical, so let's look at that next. So now we're gonna try to reflect pentagon A, B, C, D, E across the diagonal line Y equals X. So in order to do this, one thing that you need to realize is that when you take any point such as C, and you're trying to think about where C prime will go on the other side of the line, the line that connects C to the line you're reflecting across has to be, those two lines have to be perpendicular. So that, because that's the shortest distance from C to the line. So you want to count perpendicularly how far is it. So here I can see there's two diagonal units. So I have to count two diagonal units over here to get to C prime. And then we can do the same thing for B. I notice that B is one, two, two and a half little diagonal units. So you'd count two and a half in the other direction. So there's a half and then one and then two. So there's B prime. Once you have a couple of points, it might be easier, depending on how you prefer, to try to just draw the shape, looking at how B, C, A, E, and D all relate to each other over here, because you know that the new image shape has to be congruent to the original, or you could keep doing what we were doing. So if you continue with D, it'd be one, two, three diagonal units away. So count one, two, three, and you get to D prime. And there would be the last few points. Now, another thing to notice is once you've done your reflection and you had your original shape and your image, it should look like that whole picture with the original shape and the image and the line of reflection has reflection symmetry across or about that line that you were reflecting across. So that's a way to test if you did it right. Sometimes you want to turn your paper and sort of look and see if it looks like if you folded up across the line if the two shapes would match. And if they look like that, then you probably did it right.